Magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Athanasius, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, so that we may be less unworthy to receive the new life that Jesus, our risen Lord, offers to us in this Eucharist. Let us now humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, every living God, who raised up the Bishop St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen 
Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified. This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove me from the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Please stand. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, 
but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel today, Jesus reminds us of a very important principle that should guide our Christian lives. Jesus said, Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. Wag lang ninyong hanapin ang pagkain na bubulok at nasisira. Ang pagsikapan yung hanapin ay ang pagkain naghahatid sa buhay na walang hanggan. What does it mean to work for food that endures for eternal life? Today, we are given two examples of people who worked for food for eternal life. The first example is what we heard in our first reading today, Stephen. According to our first reading, Stephen was filled with grace and power. And because of that, he was able to do great works and signs among the people. People would come forward, would go to Stephen and debate with him. Makikipagdebate sila kay Esteban. But according to our first reading, they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Hindi nila matalo si Stephen dahil sa karunungan na taglay niya mula sa Diyos. And because of this, as expected, many hated him. They even made false accusations against Stephen. And eventually, this will lead to his execution. This is working for God. Stephen could have just saved his life if his only concern was his earthly life. Pwedeng-pwede naman niyang iligtas na lang yung kanyang sarili at hindi siya maaano. Pero ang pinagsusumikapan ni Stephen ay ang buhay na walang hanggan. And so despite the false accusations and the persecutions against him, Stephen persevered because he knew he was working not for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we also celebrate the memorial of St. Athanasius, one of the four great doctors of the Eastern Church. Athanasius lived during the 4th century, and he is well known as the doctor of divinity, the doctor of the incarnation of Jesus. Athanasius fought against the Arian heresy, which questioned the divinity of Jesus. Yung Arianism ay heresy, isang maling katuruan 
na lumaganap noong 4th century na nagdududa sa pagkadiyos ni Jesus. Ang sinasabi ng Arianism, si Jesus, tao lang, hindi siya Diyos. At ito ang ipinaglaban ni Athanasius. Itinuro niya na si Jesus ay tunay na Diyos. He was also persecuted and exiled many times. But he also persevered because he knew he was doing the work of God. He knew he was working for the food that endures for eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this new week of work, of facing our daily endeavors, of doing our tasks and responsibilities, Jesus reminds us today, do not just work for food that perishes. Work for the food that endures for eternal life. Huwag lamang hanap buhay. Hanapin natin ang buhay na walang hanggan. At sana sa lahat ng gagawin natin, huwag lamang yung mga bagay na makamundo, nalilipas din ang ating pagsumikapan. Mas lalo nating pagsumikapan yung mga bagay na maghahatid sa atin sa buhay na walang hanggan. Sa bawat gagawin natin araw-araw, simple man o komplikadong mga bagay man ang ating haharapin, ang ating mga gagawin, isipin natin, ito kayang gagawin kung ito magdadala sa akin sa buhay na walang hanggan. In everything we do, let us always strive to work for the food that endures for eternal life. At kahit na po sana sa ating pagpili ng iboboto, ganyan din ang ating isaisip. Huwag dating sabihin na ang eleksyon ay bagay ng mundong ito. The election is much more than the things of this world. It tells about who we are, our values, our character, our Christianity. Kaya sana kapag tayo'y pipili ng maiboboto, sana yung kaya nating ipagmalaki sa ibang tao, yung kaya nating ipagmalaki kahit sa Diyos, na pag humarap tayo sa Diyos, sa langit, sa araw na tayo itawagin niya, at tanungin niya tayo, naging mabuting tao ka ba? Naging mabuting Pilipino ka ba? Kaya nating buong pagmamalaking sabihin sa Diyos, Opo, Panginoon, Bumoto ako ng mga nararapat na pinuno. Bumoto ako ng malilinis at matutuwid na leader. Even the elections should be a work that endures for eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, if you only work for food that perishes, poor you. But if you work for food that endures for eternal life, blessed are you. Please stand. Only God the Father can satisfy the hunger of the heart and of the spirit. So we bring our needs before Him, and for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may awaken in her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize the longings of the heart cannot be satisfied 
by the pursuit of worldly success or material comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who spend their time uselessly searching for joy and happiness in the wrong way may find the right direction in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be united with Christ in the new life of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food from our, for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athanasius. And may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself to us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Athanasius and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, deceptions, lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with Saint Athanasius, may through this sacrament ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.